Hello everyone, this is Jonathan with Excel Help Now. Today's video, I'm going to be going over expected value parlay bets. This calculator I have pulled up here is going to be able to calculate different parlay betting options up to 10 legs and be able to determine whether or not it has positive expected value. And if it does, we'll apply the Kelly criteria to be able to bet the optimal betting amount. So there's two different ways that we can go about evaluating these parlays. One I'm going to call the SHARP method, which is looking at a sharp sports book such as Pinnacle, getting the odds of different lines of the legs from that book, and then back out the, the VIG to get an implied odds percentage and be able to see what the combined parlay break-even odds are. The second method would be going to um, a website such as Dradings or 538 Sport, really any website that has probability percentages that are fair. So 100% in total, and this can also be your own defined odds of how you think the outcomes will go. So there's two different methods. Both work. Both are uh, objective ways for you to be able to look at a, a parlay that's either offered on a sports book underneath like odds boost section, or if you're trying to build your own and to be able to know whether or not this is a going to be a positive expected value in a bet you should be placing or not. So we'll flip over to Caesars.com and use that as our, our test. Subject. All right, so I have Caesars.com pulled up here. I'm going to go to this boost section just to see what parlays are being offered right now. Scroll down. We have this MLB Rangers, Pad Padres, Orioles, and Dodgers all to win on 813th. Max bet of 100, 850 odds. So let's use this as an example and see whether or not this parlay is a positive expected value bet or not. Let's go back to Excel and we'll plug in the information. Okay, we have our Caesars parlay that we're gonna evaluate copied in here just so we have that as a reference point. So we'll input our account value, let's say 150 number of legs of the bet, it's four. And the odds we're getting offered, it's that plus 850. So we'll plug that in and then the max bet amount is 100. Okay, so we have all that plugged in. Now we have to go to, we'll do the sharp method first. So we're gonna to go to pinnacle.com and see what odds that they have for each one of these money lines and be able to see what the fair odds are and know what the break-even odds underneath the sharp method. I'm at pinnacle.com. I'm gonna to go to the baseball section here and you can see the MLB odds offered right now on pinnacle.com. We want the money line section. So we'll grab these odds, we'll plug them into the model and see what our break-even odds underneath a sharp sports book method. All right, we're back at our model. Went ahead and grabbed a screenshot of those odds and I went ahead and plugged them in over here on the sharp left, sharp right columns. So we had the Rangers plus 120, minus 130, the Padres at minus 144, plus 132, Orioles minus 101, minus 107, and the Dodgers Rockies game at plus 281, minus 319. And so that's that's the Parley we're evaluating. So from here, I just need to decide whether or not it's the sharp left or sharp right side we're taking. So this first one's the Rangers, we're taking sharp left. The Padres, we're taking the sharp left. The Orioles, Dodgers, we're taking the sharp left. And that just means what side of this. So we're taking the minus 101, which is the Orioles side. And then on the bottom, we got the Dodgers. So that'll be sharp right. If you look at the lines offered here, minus 319, so sharp right. So that gives us a break-even odds of plus 959. So that means any odds that are longer than 959 would be positive expected value. Anything below that is a unprofitable negative expected value bet. And we were only offered 850. So this is definitely not a bet you should take, not a parlay that should be wagered on. You can see it says negative 91 cents. Um, so... That's how I would evaluate the parlays and using the sharp method. So sharp sports books, books such as Pinnacle, back into the, take the big odds. We'll back out the, the VIG on both the left and right side to get an applied win percentage. So these totals in this column all equal 100%. So you get the fair odds for the left and right side and then we'll just convert those odds to win percentage amounts. So that's how the model works to get to this break-even odds. And then I have the Kelly criteria here. If it was a positive expected value, bet to determine how much to bet on this. So let's say instead of 850, we were offered 1,000 odds. 
So that would be above a longer odd than the break even. So that's positive expected value. And right now the criteria is saying you only have a 9.4% chance of this parlay hitting. So you should wager 29 cents with a payout of 319, expected win of 2.9 and a thousand percent ROI based on the odds offered. So that is the sharp method. Now we'll flip over to, we're gonna go to dratings.com to get the win percentages to evaluate the probability percentage method. Okay, we're over at dratings.com. I went to predictions, MLB predictions, just to pull up the win percentages calculated using Drading's methodology. You can use any website that you like, whatever one you feel like is most accurate as far as when percentages go. This is just one of my favorite sites to go as a reference point. You can also plug in your own win percentages if you feel like you've got a better feel of how the outcomes in the game will go. So we'll grab these win percentages, just grab a screenshot of this. We'll plug it into the model and see if we apply what Drading's figuring up on the different MLB games, if that parlay is profitable or not. Okay, we're back at our model and I plugged in the Drading's percentages into the model to see if this is a positive parlay bet or not using the Drading's methodology. So looking at the the screenshot here, for example, the Rangers Giants money line, 46.4% win percentage odds for the Rangers. I plug that in and we want to choose the left percentage side, the Rangers, the 46.4% did that for the remainder of the the legs. And we get a break even odds of 919 versus the 850 odds were offered on Caesar. So under the trading methodology, it is unprofitable as well. Not a parlay that you should be betting on. So that is the probability percentage method. So this gives you two different ways of evaluating different parlay options and whether or not they are profitable bets to be placing or not. And I think this is a really important tool to have in your sports betting tool belt to make objective decisions on parlays because all the time we're getting boost or offers on different parlays, but being able to identify whether or not it's has positive expected value or not, it's going to make you a profitable sports better in the long run. So thanks for tuning in. I have a link to the description to this exact model that's available on my Etsy page, Excel Help Now. So if you really liked how I walked through this and think this would be a useful tool to have, I do have it available on my Etsy page. And thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it.